Hi guys, welcome back to Xander Dreams where we discuss everything business and entrepreneurship. Now you guys know that I always talk about sourcing, developing and using packaging solutions that have minimal environmental impact and footprint. The basis of sustainable packaging means that it is earth friendly and doesn't contribute to the further depletion of natural resources. With the current influx of brands on each and every industry, sustainable packaging has to be a priority for brand owners. And as a consumer, it's important for you to only have hunger for brands that show respect for the environment. However, we are buying products because we are being fooled by the labels to think that they are recyclable and biodegradable. But the truth is, not all packages that are recyclable or compostable are more sustainable. So I had a bunch of these sheets that are basically the backings of shipping labels and I didn't know what to do with them. So I came up with this idea and what I do is I basically accordion fold them just like this. So I fold it one way and then the other and then I just do that all the way down the sheet like this. A little intermission by my cat right here. And then once I get to the end, I basically just cut them off in little snippets like this. And it creates that little confetti stuff that you find in packages and stuff like that. So this is just a really great way to reuse your shipping labels and create less waste. So collective action among competitors is very much part of a strong future ahead of us. As a small business owner, it is important to have ethical business practices. You should define your business values, choose suppliers whose values align with your own and contribute to your community as much as you can. Just because you're for a profit company doesn't mean everything you do needs to be about money. Another thing is being or running a small business may have you thinking that your environmental impact is inconsequential but the people buying your products don't see it that way. So if you're running or want to run a small business, it is important that you make sure that you use sustainable products. Let's talk packaging for a small business. Today I saw a video from Officially Ashley talking about how adding cute things to your packaging for a small business can add up cost-wise, and I totally agree. But if you go with stamps, it's a one-time purchase and you can use it endless times in the future. You can use this thank you stamp to add to your invoices or a personal handwritten note, or these happy mail or handle with care stamps are perfect for the outside of your packages or mailers. This way you can add your personal touch and make it feel special for the client without spending too much money. Make use of secondhand finds because it takes a lot of energy and raw material to make all those new tables, chairs, couches, and desks. Another way is to reduce, reuse, and recycle. The best way to keep waste out of landfills is by never sending it there in the first place. So always reuse items whenever possible. This could be reusing boxes from purchases that you've made yourself or using both sides of the printed paper. It's the little things like that. Every company has a different level of impact on the planet, but as a whole, we all contribute to climate change, pollution, and the water crisis. Every business has their part to play, whatever the size. By taking account of our carbon footprints and taking the steps to shrink them down, we can help slow and hopefully reverse the effects of climate change. So if you know me, you know packaging is an absolute must. I am a bit of a perfectionist to say the least. So fun fact, this is what the packaging used to look like for the marshmallows. And that is what I transformed it into. I really, really love the rose gold. I think it is so cute. It got to a point where everyone started to get this packaging and it just wasn't unique to me anymore so that is why I came with that. If you're an OG, you will know the frosted bags have always been a thing with the rose gold flakes. Again, I did start to see that everywhere but with gold flakes instead of the rose gold, 
but I just can't get rid of it because I genuinely am so obsessed with how gorgeous that looks. The lip gloss packaging and the liner packaging inside I completely designed myself on an app called Canva. This is a limited edition marshmallow packaging, beautiful. And if that's caught your eye guys, it was just a sample, it's not gonna happen. Yo, look what I made! Look what I made! Look what I made! You see that? God made that with some acrylics. Don't play with my interior. Don't play with my interior design skills. Don't play with it. Hey, I'm a graphic designer and here's how I created this healthy juice packaging. The first thing I always do is I start by researching. So in this case, I did a bit of research on Pinterest. Then I go on to mood board and group different design categories together. I also explore typefaces and logos. As you can see here, I named the brand Main Squeeze and I was exploring different logo treatments and illustration styles. Once I have a cohesive concept, I take my designs into Illustrator and then print the designs off on my home printer. After that, I cut to the die line and score with the back of a kitchen knife and fold everything up. I used a thick off-white paper to give a really organic and natural look. After that, I used double-sided tape to seal everything up and that's it. If you enjoyed watching this project, I've made a YouTube video documenting the whole process which I'd love for you to check out. It's linked in my bio. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed! Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you guys next time.